This is Germany's strongest 11. Shaka, we went through Brazil's roster yesterday. Obviously, mm -hmm. Brazil, the, the, the better's favorite right now. Shouldn't that 11 be your better favorite? I, I think it, it very well can be. I still think there are question marks over Manuel Neuer, as you mentioned, hadn't played since September. Ter Stegen, I think, has firmly established himself as one of the world's best. But in terms of squad and in terms of options for, for Yogi Love, it just doesn't get any better. And it speaks to how strong this squad is that Goethe does not even get in. This is a player who scored in the final four years ago for, for Jimmy to, to lift the World Cup. And yet still not even in this squad. It speaks to Yogi Love's not only his talent pool, but the authority that he commands and is able to make these selections because I don't think many managers um, would have that, that kind of luxury or, or that kind of presence. Tony Cruz hasn't had the season, kind of season that Tony Cruz has had before. Huge admirer of the player. But Real Madrid have been up and down. I know they're going to the Champions League final, but, but he, that midfield hasn't operated as well. Gundogan said his injury problems, and he's not always started when fit. Yet, according to Ralph Honestein, our colleague, that could be he could be in the starting eleven. Sani on the wing, great season for Man City, but inexperienced at this level. Got a few caps, but nothing, nothing like the rest of the squad. So, it, there are some areas that you could look at uh, and say, why are they so? Mm. far up again as favourites or, or second favourites behind Brazil but I just think it's because the German mentality when the chips are down this coach and this squad of players in this nation have generally found a way to get the job I, I think that's the thing time and time again you speak about German players in this squad who maybe haven't had great season you could probably say the same about Thomas Muller uh, coming into yep. the squad hasn't been great you've got a, a Mario Gomez about 32 years old in this squad yet he brings something that the others don't. And, and that's the thing, no matter what, it seems no matter who Germany name, you know they're going to be there or thereabouts. Understandably near, near the top in, in terms of favourites. Um, and I expect them to get to the final, yeah. Let's bring in Paolo here. Uh, yesterday we get Brazil's roster. Today we get Germany's provisional roster. They meet tomorrow. Who are you picking? I like Germany. I think the one thing that maybe gets a little bit um, forgotten here as well is just how helpful it is for a national team manager. You think about the reduced time you have to prepare for these games, to have cores of players who know each other and who are used to playing together. Now, you could take that all the way back with the national team to the, the last World Cup. I mean, you're looking at a team that could easily start six or seven guys who started in the last World Cup. But you've also just got club dynamics. So that back four could include easily three guys from Bayern Munich if you go with Boateng and Hummels and Kimmich. You've got guys in midfield who maybe aren't playing together now, but Cruz and Kadira know each other. And Ozil all used to play together uh, at Real Madrid. I think those little dynamics, the fact that you've got players who are familiar with each other and who will slot together without having to, to be guided as much by a coach is really valuable at international level.